thank you, Mr. Speaker. Tax harmonisation is really a euphemism, isn't it, for higher tax? I mean, hands up anybody who thinks that tax harmonisation means that they're going to be harmonised downwards. Tax harmonisation removes the external competition, which is the usual curb on a government wanting to raise more money. And it's bizarre that this becomes our solution to every problem. We're in the mess we're in because the government was spending too much. And we're not going to get out of this mess by raising even more money, transferring even more resources from the private sector into the public. Of course, the reality is that the reason we want tax harmonisation is because the EU wants to give itself a dedicated revenue stream that it doesn't need to come cap in hand and beg from the member states. The, the, behind all this talk about spending money at, at Brussels level so that you don't have to spend it at, at national level is the need to keep fuelling the bureaucracy that has grown up uh, at the top of the EU. And that, of course, is what's going to choke the system. It's going to bring us down as it's brought down every past over-centralised and over-taxed imperium. Generations from now, when archaeologists are looking for the last documents uh, from our era, I suspect that the, the most recent one they're going to find is some tax demand from some Brussels official.